remember my first baseball glove. It was back when my parents still loved each other and I still loved myself. When my hands were small, but my heart was large and everything seemed so much bigger than it is now. When the only thing that seemed further away than first base was the distance to your arms, and the only thing I was able to catch was the passing thought that I might be able to make you proud. Ripping the bat as if it were a rope that connected us and hanging on to the one thing that made me feel like I was worth it. I would swing, but I would miss. And I would continue to do that for the next 10 years. No matter how many times I shifted my home, no matter whose possession I would end up in, there was always one thing that made me feel whole. But the tough part was being rejected by it. There came a time when that thing went away and I packed up my baseball glove and bought a guitar because the thought of me failing and drove me insane. Now my body is just covered in scars and they might not be pretty, but that's who we are. After years of searching for a new baseball glove, I finally found one that fit like it was meant for my hands, like we were meant for each other, and the better half of my brain persuaded me to believe it. And I guess I was still naive at that time because it's six years later now and I still can't find the rest of me. I've never been one for analogies, but the summary of my existence is kind of like this. I got caught in a pickle between first and second. Wound up around second and headed for third, wound up around third and headed for home before finally I realized that I had gone too far and that sometimes we lose sight of where we're supposed to go. And now my baseball glove probably sits in a box in some place that I don't even know. It's funny how we can find the time to set aside landmarks in our lives and it's funny how you can see more with your mind than you can with your eyes. It's funny how I was born surrounded by people who love me but I will be alone when I die and it's funny how time flies. There are no more line drives or the sun in my eyes. There's just pain and there's fear and there's trying to get by. And the fact that I never made anyone proud in the end just destroys my own pride. Well, I spent half my life learning that real men don't cry and the other half trying to forget that. I've spent half my life struggling to fight tears in my eyes and the other half trying not to regret that. I still remember my first baseball glove and I still remember that smile on your face and though I might never be young again, though I might never feel safe, there are still things out there that I can do. It's just that none of them will ever fit the same.